Open Hearts Community Mission. This is the administrative office of Reverend Jim Lewis, our executive director. It is named for Mrs. Jennifer Davis, who has spent a great amount of her time coordinating the Chocolate Run, our annual fundraiser. The intake room is the first room that residents come to when they enter the mission. Here, they will take a shower and are given clean clothes to wear. The Learning Center is equipped with computers for residents to fill out job applications or work on an educational program such as their GED. Other classes such as sewing classes and art classes are taught in this room. Our Learning Center is named after Mr. Frank Hook who has given a great amount of his time in helping to see the Open Hearts Community Mission completed. The men's lounge precedes the men's sleeping area. It is named after Mr. David Bobo, a general contractor in Statesboro, who volunteered all of his time to build this mission. There is a men's wing and a women's wing at the mission. Each wing is equipped with two laundry rooms, which each have two dryers and two washers, and multiple showers in each bathroom. In addition to a men and women's wing, we have two family apartments. These apartments are for families with children and offer a safe, private environment. The multi-purpose room serves as our dining room and our chapel area, and also a place for large groups of people to meet. It will be named in memory of Mrs. Ann Nellis. Just off of our multi-purpose room is our kitchen. It is equipped with a refrigerator, a large freezer, and two stoves. Here we have the women's lounge. Both lounges in each area offers our residents a place to relax and watch TV after a long day. The women's sleeping area, just as the men's, sleeps 12 people. The women's sleeping area is named for the Statesboro Service League for their financial contribution and unwavering support in the building of the mission. The community room offers a private place for residents to meet with professionals such as nurses, attorneys, or counselors. It also serves as the mission's board of directors meeting room. My name is Mark. I like to volunteer at Open Hearts Mission because I like to share the love of Jesus. Uh, my name is Pete and I volunteer at Open Hearts Community Mission because I just wanted to give back to my community. Safety out in the car is concerned. Uh, if you're in the kind of weather where you can rub the windows up at night, um, that's good. Maybe just a little air hole, but if it's hot weather, real warm at night, you have to leave the windows down then somebody has to stay awake at night to watch. So you kind of take turns sleeping, or one person sleep for a while and another person watch. Very difficult, like where you're gonna go to the bathroom at night, especially at night, or where are you gonna find something to eat? You quit drinking liquids real early in the day so you don't have to go to the bathroom, which is really bad for your health found that out. Now, as far as Open Hearts Community Mission is concerned, it's just hard to put all that into words because it not only put a roof over our heads and food in our stomachs, but it has given us a way to pay back what's been given to us. The jobs we've had in the kitchen and helping with food and making sure that food's taken care of and uh, not wasted, which is a big part of who I am anyway because that's just the way I'm. I know whose original idea this was. And I know how hard she worked to get it going. And there has to be a special place in heaven for people like her that would do what she's done to get it going. 
and for Mr. Lewis to come here at his age and do the work he does with all of us. Uh, there's a place in heaven for him too that's going to be real special because he He's not a spring chicken and he works like one all the time. I don't think I can say anything else. O Lord God of Israel, with your mouth you have promised, with your hand you have provided.